Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole Hughesman and thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today I am so excited to bring y'all my winter coat guide. Yes, I live in the south so even in the winter it doesn't get that cold and in the fall we definitely don't need a lot of these jackets. Fall is my all time favorite season and I am so excited to show you my favorite jackets which are arguably my favorite piece of fashion behind bags and shoes. So my third favorite piece of fashion, but honestly there are so many that oh, I just get so excited about each one. Most of them are new to my collection this year, so they're still available for you to get. Any that aren't new to this season are my old trusted favorites and should either still be in stock or I will link similar ones down below. But before we get started, don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up. It really helps me as a small creator. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and click that bell icon so you get notified every time I upload a new video, which we are back on track with Mondays and Thursdays. So without further ado, let's get started. Y'all, I am so excited to be back. So for those of you who are just now tuning in, I have been in Tulum, Mexico for the past three weeks. And then after that, I got really, really bad food poisoning, got really dehydrated, had to emergency fly back to the States to get medical treatment, but I am good now. We are back. I am enjoying this crisp fall weather, but when I left, it was still pretty warm. This is the Carolinas, so we don't have that nice cold fall weather that y'all northerners do. The leaves are changing colors and starting to fall, and it's finally time to wear jackets. And I love wearing a jacket. I think it can elevate even just like the simplest outfit. I definitely splurge on my jackets because I think that as a piece you wear over and over and over again, you want a really quality piece. You want it to keep you warm and you just want something that looks nice. I think it can take even just like jeans and a t-shirt to a whole new level. So I'm really, really excited to show you my favorites and I have quite a few. So I figure let's stop talking and let's jump in. So this is my first coat. You're definitely gonna notice a trend in color and I feel like maybe I should have put a pop of color in my outfit today. I like to buy them in a really nice neutral color so they go with everything and I can wear them all the time and not have to worry about the occasion or the time of day. So yes, a lot of these are beige. And this is just a classic trench coat. I got this coat when I was working in Washington DC and while I was not working on the hill, a lot of my friends were, and so when I wanted to go out to happy hours with them and I wanted to blend in, this was the perfect coat for fall weather. It is not too hot. It offers you protection if it starts to kind of rain a little bit. And otherwise, I just think it's so cute and professional. And this is definitely like an East Coast coat. I don't think I would ever see anyone like this in Silicon Valley or around California where I used to live but in DC and even in Raleigh, I feel like I could rock this in the city. I definitely get more of a professional look from it and I can even belt the coat, but I love this. I love that it doesn't really matter what you wear underneath as long as you have something kind of smart or classic popping out here. And it's just a very nice look. I think it's a very classic trench coat. This one is from River Island. I got it because my all time favorite coat was from there and I just fell in love. I think actually these coats were what made me fall in love with the brand. So definitely love, love, love this coat. And it's definitely good for if your weather is not too cold, if you need to look a bit more polished and professional, and if your city is Washington DC. Honestly, that's just like the perfect city to wear this coat up until like December because the weather stays so like fall, like classic fall, this is a classic fall coat. But, ooh, what are in my pockets? <gasps> Oh my God, I found my old AirPods. I thought these things were gone and a ping pong ball. <laughs> okay, welcome to the most random video on my channel. They're still charged. Y'all, this case still has a charge. It's been a year. Somehow they still have charge and now I have a backup case of AirPods. This is awesome. Okay, let me put these down somewhere. <laughs> This next coat is from Ann Taylor, and it's one actually my mom got for me. And I feel like this was a coat again before there were coat agains. Like, it's definitely not like a true coat, but when I lived in San Francisco, this was perfect because it's not too heavy. I kind of like that it doesn't button, so it's definitely a bit more casual of a look. And for Raleigh, North Carolina, this is perfect. It's not too hot, not too cold. You still got a little something on. And again, we're seeing it in this beautiful, almost like oatmeal color because it goes with everything, pair of jeans, nice skirt, anything you want, it's definitely a look, and I am the beige babe today. 
All right, Jacob, you are welcome. <laughs> it is a couple seasons old, so I'm not sure they still sell it, but I will definitely try and link something very similar in the down bar below. And every code that I mentioned will be linked down below, so go ahead and if you see anything you like, go ahead and check it out. This time I'm switching up with a beige coat that is a little out of my style zone. This is from Hollister and I saw it on their website and it was so, so perfect. Definitely on the heavier side, but I just get such like cool girl vibes from this. Definitely not my classic polished long coat look, but my husband is from Minnesota, so we often go up there to visit and I think this would be the perfect coat to just like casually throw on if I'm going out somewhere. The vibe there is definitely a lot more casual and about like staying warm because it gets so, so cold. So I think this would be a perfect jacket. I love the accents. It is a little bulky, but because of where it cuts, I feel like it's not too big of a coat. Like it's not bulky and like down to here. So I think this is super stylish. I will show you this hood thing, like comes to the back, super cute. Doesn't quite go with this outfit. I'd probably pair this with like jeans and a t-shirt and I'm like sweating because it is really, really warm. But I love the shearling, love the brown and this would be my perfect, just kind of casual throw on with a pair of jeans and some booties and go out to a bar or go out to a brewery. I think this would be perfect. Y'all, it's the first time I brought out this coat this season and I honestly forgot how much I love this. If y'all saw any of my videos from like way, way back in 2019 when I first started refilming, this coat I brought with me on a trip to London and I wore it nonstop. I am so obsessed with this coat. I think full credit either goes to Josie or Freddie My Love. I think one or both of them recommend this coat and I am obsessed. Y'all, it's from River Island. This like shawl part comes off if you don't want as much of the faux fur, and it is faux. I love the winter white. Like this coat is what made me fall in love with winter whites and wearing like dressier pieces um, in the winter instead of just leggings and a sweater. And I, oh my gosh. If you know me, you know that this is the most Nicole coat to exist. I don't know what it is about it, but this coat just, it's warm without being too warm. I could wear it in a London winter, but I could wear it in a Minnesota winter, but I could also wear it in like a DC fall slash winter. So like it wasn't crazy hot, but it keeps you so warm. It's so polished. It actually is missing one of the buttons that I need to sew back on. I have it upstairs in one of my bags because I just wore this coat to death and I just checked the River Island website. It is in stock. So seriously guys, if you only pay attention to one coat in this entire haul, let it be this divine piece of clothing. I seriously consider this one of my best investments, especially in the winter. If you only are gonna wear one coat on a day-to-day -day basis, make it something that stands out and makes you feel so good. I love that this isn't just the classic black, puffer that everyone wears. I think you stand out in this in a really good way without looking out of place. I don't think it's a coat that is like hard to wear. Like I don't feel uncomfortable putting it on and worried that people are staring at me. I just, oh, everything about this coat is perfect. I'm just obsessed with the quality, obsessed with how it's worn. The button has fallen off. They're not like super secure. You can see they're kind of like floppy but that was definitely the style they came in and they did send me an extra button. So even though one fell off, I still have the button and I have the extra one they sent, so I just need to tailor it on real quick. So, uh, even though it is so hot with my lights on and it's only November in the South, I don't wanna take this off. It's so, ugh, it's such a dream. Okay, I finally put some color into my coat wardrobe with my last two coats being the most fun ones yet. They are both from a Paris completely not sponsored. I just recently fallen in love with the brand. They are a vegan fur company, but they look and feel so soft. I worry that people are going to think I'm wearing real fur, but I promise you this is vegan completely. It is so divine, feels so soft. And this was the first year that I felt like I had my basic set of coats down. The only coat that I have that I didn't show you is like my ski jacket, but I didn't think you needed to see a bright pink ski jacket. But if you do, let me know down in the comments. More than happy to put that on my Instagram, which is Nicole underscore Houston, if you haven't already checked it out. But I found that since I had invested in these really quality pieces the last couple of years, 
that they've stayed really nice in my wardrobe, I can finally start to branch out into some more fun accent pieces with the money I had saved up for coats this year. So this is the first of those. And I, oh my God, feel like a fluffy pink marshmallow. I showed my husband this coat. He laughed hysterically and told me to take it off. And I almost feel like that's a sign that I like it even more, knowing that like, it's just so extra. And I am so extra that it's perfect. And I'll give you a view of the back. It has these really cool like lines into it. And I believe this is in the rose color. A Paris is really popular item is their like hooded faux fur jacket, which is like very cute, not my style. So it was hard to find one without the hood, but I did and it's divine. It's so soft and I feel like this would be perfect for if I was going out in like a little black dress, but like, let's be realistic. It'd probably be like a little pink. Eh, I feel like with this one, I would consider wearing a little black dress. So maybe with this, I'd wear like a little black dress and some cute little heels and just let the jacket steal the show. It is definitely so soft and nice that I would all be worried to wear this in like the snow or in inclement weather because I'm too fond of it and it's like too new but it feels such nice quality. I'm not worried about it kind of like deteriorating and it has pockets, which most coats should, but it has these two hooks at the front to keep it secure. And even now in my filming studio, I feel very like regulated, if that makes sense. Like I'm not sweating, like I'm so hot, but I do think I'd go somewhere cold and this would keep me warm, which is my favorite type of coat because sometimes I know we'll never understand why places do this. It's so cold out and they will blast the heat. So you have to wear like such warm, cozy sweaters and jackets and bundle up outside and you come inside and you're like dying of heat exhaustion. I feel like you might be able to survive this in this coat. That was a really long way of saying this coat holds heat without retaining it. <laughs> this is the absolute newest coat to my collection and it was final sale. The color is a little off than what I would normally go for, but I really like, like, again, kind of this cool girl vibe that I'm getting from it. It's a little bit more oversized than I would normally go for. I normally go for a little bit more structure, but let me see if I can't, oh, there's the hook, okay. I'm like, literally, this is the first time I've put it on. So it actually hooks, let me see if I can get it. Um, <laughs> I think this might have to be an unhooked kind of jacket because there is a little bit more shape if I wear something shapely underneath. Again, this was a little bit more of a fun purchase. It was final sale. It was like a third of the price that a Paris jackets normally are. They normally run around 300, which makes sense for a very quality vegan fur. But this one I saw and the color looked a little bit lighter online. And I loved my blush one so much that I thought rose, not gonna be too dark. I'm gonna get it. And this is, this is me trying it on for the first time. Maybe should have reviewed it before the video, but like we're here now. Um, Again, final sale. I definitely think I can work this into a couple outfits. I'm not sure if it's gonna be a staple in my closet forever, so maybe I'll do a giveaway. I mean, I just don't know if I need two pink faux fur coats. Pink faux fur coats. So let me know in the comments down below. This literally still has the tags on. First time I'm trying it on. If you guys would be interested in me doing a giveaway of this jacket, it is so nice, such good quality. I'm just now realizing that maybe I don't need two jackets, so. I feel like this coat is less to cover you up and more to accent what you're wearing underneath because of how bulky it is. So I would wear this with like a very cute, tight, long sleeve shirt or sweater and maybe, I could even see like blush pink and really going for an Elle Woods look here, but I feel like maybe black or white would probably be the best to play around with the just giganticness um, and the size of this coat, both like physically and the amount of weight it carries just through color and appearance and texture. So oh, it's just so soft. I like, I just want to keep like feeling it. <laughs> so this has been my winter coat guide. These are all the coats that I've kept through the years that I've added to my collection this year. And I swear by them. Between these coats, I can get through any kind of occasion, any sort of weather. I can go from the south where it's warm up to freezing, like literally sub freezing, sub zero temperatures in Minnesota, like rural outs, like hours away from even like Fargo, North Dakota, Minnesota. Like 
If you're from that area, please drop a comment down below. Seriously, one of my favorite places to be. I'm so sad I won't get to go this year because of the way holidays worked out. We're not going for Thanksgiving. I'm so sad that I won't be there this year, but we're trying to figure out a way to go for Christmas. So hopefully I'll get to see it there. And if you're there, drop me down a comment down below telling me where you're from and what your favorite part about the Midwest is. So thank you so much for watching. I've had so much fun with today. I am so in the fall feeling and just winter ready for cold and Christmas and Thanksgiving and so happy to be in like crisp weather because this is seriously, seriously my favorite season and I was so sad that I missed even a month of it. So if you like this video, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. It really helps me as a small creator. If you haven't subscribed already, what are you doing? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, join my friend group and hit that bell icon to get notified every time I upload a new video. As always, I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, wonderful rest of your week. Bye.